ay 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 Alright, so I want to take you guys back in time. The year is 2004. Halo 2, one of the best games ever created, had just been released. Three friends are talking over Xbox Live about their futures. Alright? Little did they know that they would create the most formidable and real crew in all of pro MLG gaming. The LXG crew. This is the history of the LXG crew. Started from the bottom, now we're here. So the whole idea behind the LXG crew this was way before like all the esports stuff and like MLG became a huge thing, alright? But like we wanted to play video games, right? For a living, okay? And it was originally me, Kazi, and LXG No Mercy. Now he didn't always used to have my avatar, but but that's a long story that we'll get into, okay? And I'm not I'm not gonna get into everything. I just wanted to let everybody know. Alright, and Kazi kind of came and went when he wanted to, so it was really just me and No Mercy for the most part. And also Kazi's a snitch. Um, but just keep in mind all this is pieced together based on what I can find out there and what I'm allowed to show and all that, okay? So it's not perfect. I'm just going to go over stuff as quick as I can. This is just going to kind of be an overview. I'm no doctor, but they need heads to live, right? Okay, so first of all, this, there's not a lot of footage from this era except on Carl's master data bank, which is uh, basically an old 2 gig hard drive he stole from his school computer lab. Anyway, so back in the day, we were owning scrubs left and right, you know, every day. And it was all about honing those skills, you know, getting that fast lightning reflexes you need to be an MLG Pro. Uh, you know, everybody said that we were just sitting on a couch all day, playing Halo 2 and drinking Mountain Dew and smoking pot. But we were building futures, okay? We had plans to be pros way before esports, alright? We planned on the fame, we planned on the excessive amounts of cheap Mexican beers, we planned on the booth babes, you know, we had hardcore members like Mummified Penis, who was, uh, I think he was arrested for a DUI anyway, uh, we had Taco Bell Creation Myth, alright, he was my homeboy back in the day, uh, but unfortunately he was killed in a hail of Crip gunfire, uh, like, it, there's just, there's a lot of memories associated, you know, with this time. But, you know, this wasn't even our prime. This was just us learning what we needed for what was to come. So when Call of Duty came out, okay, like the first one, Modern Warfare, uh, it changed everything, alright? I think everybody knows that, okay? And we really got our names out there, alright? First with Modern Warfare and also with Modern Warfare 2, we did all sorts of stuff, okay? First we, like, gave out flyers, alright? All through 2007. And then when that didn't work, we started spray painting stuff on people's billboards. And uh, then we stole bikes, and then we rented those bikes out to people. Um, and we also did stuff like we visited, like, Happy Ending Massage Parlors, and we bought and traded penny stocks. Man, you could do anything back then before the market crashed in 2008 to make money. It was crazy. Uh, one time, my homeboy, uh, he actually got paid to take a fat shit on some lady's doorstep because she said that video games make you violent. Um, but no, we really like spread our wings, man. We, we were involved in all sorts of stuff. We sponsored hip-hop dance cops, all right? Uh, I, I got banned from Twitter um, because I had a feud with Regis Philbin and it ended up with me on Robotus and Horseshoe Crabs and da 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 da. Anyway, um, so I ended up getting sponsored by this software company uh, and I went to the rest of LXG and I said, hey, this looks like a good idea. And I can't say their name, unfortunately. Um, but uh, 
they were a sponsor like in 2010, 2011, and we were just kind of, we were doing pretty good. That was when we started to like get some recognition. Um, but long story short, they were actually a Yakuza-owned porn ring, and they got shut down. Uh, but the good news is that we weren't liable because we were in America at the time, and also we got to keep all the money, so fuck it, right? Shows free clothes, bubble baths, autographs. Now, right here is when the LXG crew hit its prime, alright? And you might recognize, you know, this video... One of some of my older videos on like how to join a crew in Max Payne 3 and all that, okay? And this is also when my homie Carl joined, alright? He replaced his brother, who was a snitch, by not being a snitch and being loyal. He's ride or die, and he's still in the crew right now, alright? And unlike Ogre, I actually want him in the crew, okay? So, uh, you can actually check out his uh, video on the current state of LXG in the description. Uh, I just got to give him a shout out for that because there's a lot of useful information there. Um, so yeah, it, it, we got pretty big, all right? These glory days, you know, we were we were winning left and right. We were, we were dominating. We were the first crew to ever get 100 million XP, all right? But things got a little bit intense, all right? We had too much money, okay? We kept getting invited to, like, game launch parties with, like, People who, you know, were involved in, like, you know, cocaine and all that. Uh, we, you know, I was robo-tripping all the time. No Mercy was injecting brain steroids, okay. The, those glory years, you know, they were raised. And it's like, you think you, you're at the top, but really, you're at the bottom, all right. You know, during the biggest matchup of our history, all right, we actually lost. All right, we had we had a humiliating defeat with 11 million people watching to the GTAF crew. All right, and it was at that time that Emperor Palpatine, okay, Sam Hauser, got his claws in my homeboy No Mercy. All right, the time was coming. It was getting really close to like 2014 or something, and we were gonna have to choose what the next game that the LXG crew played was going to be, and, he, and Sam Hauser whispered in his ear and said, you needs to be Grand Theft Auto, but I saw the future was going to be class-based shooters, alright, class-based shooters, okay, so I suggested the number one class-based shooter of all time, Battleborn, okay, but it was at that point that No Mercy, he was out any warning, he kicked me out of the crew, he took my avatar, he didn't give me any warning, uh, but later on, I was contacted by this guy from India. Hi guys, this is Arvin from LXG. Uh, he bought use of the color scheme and the name and stuff, which kept me going for, you know, a few months. Uh, and while No Mercy, he ended up promoting some people. Uh, and I never spoke to him again. The traitor. He's a fucking traitor. Okay, so things got kind of dark during this time, you know, there's a few years on the streets of Montreal, but I still rep the LXG crew, okay, you know, I got street cred for us, alright, I jaywalked pretty much wherever I want, I didn't care about, you know, crosswalks, uh, I got stabbed like three times, I sold this laptop that I'm using, uh, I, I got into a fight with a guy at a bakery, um, but, you know, I, I was doing all the things that you need to do to get by, but, you know, it just kind of seemed like an endless cycle. And any time I went into the library and I used the computer there to go on the internet, I just saw all these fakers taking my name or, you know, working for Alex Chino Mercy. So, you know, it was kind of a dark time. But uh, long story short, these biker dudes gave me some drugs, and I sold those drugs, and they hooked me up with their homeboy, uh, and that's when I moved into the Ford Explorer with my old roommate, uh, Kyle. Привет, Russia! So after that, I hooked up with this, uh, this esports team called the Russian Esports Federation, alright? They basically said they'd hire anybody. Um, so they, uh, they let me on board, and that was a few months ago, and I started posting some videos. Uh, a little bit before that, and then I got sponsored, so I started posting more videos for them. 
Um, so that didn't really go anywhere, unfortunately. You can kind of catch up on that in, you know, my last playlist. Uh, I had to pawn a priceless Hummel figurine, um, to get out of it, but I got a place to live, and, hey, those nail gun guys my grandma hired from Craigslist gave up when the crank wore off, what I tell ya? <laughs> So right now, we got a little bit of drama going on with, like, some other channel that, that wants to be me, okay, but this isn't out of the ordinary, alright, we're used to fakers here, it's par for the course, alright, this is just another day for the LXG crew, okay, so right now we're still delivering hardcore Fortnite content, alright, that's the game that, that the future has demanded of YouTube, and I'm here to provide it, all right? And right now, the LXG crew is back on top. You know, we got a producer. Uh, we got my homie Carl, who's still, you know, representing the crew. All right, things are going better than ever, okay? And uh, now, I think uh, I think we're gonna, we're gonna wrap it up, but stay tuned. The next part of this series, uh, we're gonna talk about, you know, what you can do looking at the history of the LXG crew success to try and emulate that success and have your own crew that's as good as the LXG crew, but probably not better because I don't know if that would be possible.